Our series, Changing the Game, highlights extraordinary women who are making a difference now and for future generations. So for Black History Month, we're focusing on black entrepreneurs and creators. This morning, we want to introduce you to Sophia Danner Ocotier. She created the fashion brand Basita back in 2015 when she couldn't find fashion in America that represented her African roots. She said, I'm going to do something about that. The sustainable clothing line features African prints and designs handmade in Nigeria by local mm -hmm. tailors. Sophia Danner Okotier, as you see, sitting here. Who are you wearing today? I am wearing <laughs> the Sita. The Sita. Yes. Yes. She, she was featured on Forbes 30 Under 30 list in 2021. We welcome you. We're so glad you walked in the room. We went, oh, we like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, so, thank you. So your background is not in fashion designing. You started this. You had no formal training. Absolutely not. What were you intending to do? What was your job? I wanted to sit right there where you are, Gail. In this chair? In this chair. Between Nate and Tony? <laughs> <laughs> right between them. Uh -huh. I actually have a news background. I worked oh. for the CBS affiliate in Macon, Georgia, 13 wow. WMAC. Oh, wow. okay. And I had dreams and aspirations to become a national journalist. I was, I loved it. I loved investigative news. I really then, thought it was my calling. Yeah, and yeah. then what happened? And then this happened. I felt this? deep What's down, this? as far as Bessita, I felt deep down that I needed to create something that I was really, really passionate about. Something that connected women to Africa and all at the same time connecting Africa to the rest of the world. Uh -huh. So I think of Bessita as Africa giving to us and us giving to Africa. Does Bessita mean something? Is that what yes, it means? Yes, yes. It's very special to me. It means Destiny determines all. Oh wow! Um, it's, it's part of the Ishakiri language in Nigeria, which is the tribe that I'm from. Okay. Was there a first garment or print that drew you to design? Well, that's the thing is when you enter the markets in Nigeria, there are lots of prints, lots of uh, options. So it was very hard for me to choose. Um, but a particular design that I think we started creating, which a little later on, was our formidab. It was a piece that you could wear as three blouses and a skirt. Wow. And that's when I really felt like we were onto something because we weren't just going to give a consumer a piece of cloth that you can wear. We were going to give you multiple styling options. Three blouses well. and a skirt. Three blouses in, in, and a skirt. In one outfit. In one outfit. See, this, uh, whenever people say this, I take it home <laughs> and I go, how the hell does this work? Because it says... Yeah, you got to have vision. Well, do you? Uh, <laughs> or, or you just have to be... I can never wrap it the right way, yeah. tie it the same way, even though, there's, even though I've seen people... You can make a skirt, you can make a dress, you can make a top. I can never understand how to do that. And you say what to that? I say we've got enough tutorials for you to learn. <laughs> There's a few options okay, That's right the there. power of video. Yeah. yeah, so that's the Formi Dab. So she's oh, wearing wow. it as a tube top yeah. and also as a skirt. And it was only supposed to be a tube top. Uh -huh. right. You know, I was wearing it one day, and instead of pulling it from the top, I was pulling it from the bottom. Wow. He said, hold up, wait a minute. And, and my manager said, wait, I thought this was a top. This is actually a skirt. And I yeah. said, well, that I could do. Joking. You either put it on the waist you just or put, put it above it on top Under or just your stick shoulders. your hand through and make it a one shoulder. Uh -huh. Now, you, you keep yeah. mentioning um, being connected to your roots and how yeah. designing these garments gives you that feeling. I oftentimes feel like African Americans here in the States, we yearn for that, yeah. but don't necessarily know how to create that bridge. Why do you believe clothing is a great bridge for black folks in America to connect to their roots. I think clothing is an easy way to do it just because everyone loves to feel good. And I say there's power in prints as well. When you mm. have these garments on, it's not just, I have on a beautiful garment. It's an expression of culture. Yeah. It's an expression of heritage. And what we've noticed is we've inspired people to also go back home. And what we've started doing is really taking a step forward with our mission mm -hmm. and giving away trips to yeah. Africa. So our first uh, winner is going to be going to Ghana in April. Oh, wow. I know. I so, keep hearing so about happy. Ghana. I want to go. You need to I'm, go. I'm looking at your dress. Is that reversible? Yes. Yeah, so this skirt, on there? this skirt absolutely is. So you can so, wear it both as a print and also on the other side, you can wear it as a solid color because some people are print shy. So, so we Okay, so talk about option. print shy because I think that's really interesting. Yeah. How do you know a print is working <laughs> and what do you say to the print shy to give it a try? Because everyone wearing a print in here right now looks great. This yeah, colleague over there, we got the wall. Yeah, I love yeah. Prince, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think I have... I, I'm the sauce, okay? I've got the I've got the secret. Okay. I know how to look at a print and say that's going to work. Yeah. Um, if I'm kind of questioning my thoughts, I'll present it to one of my friends and I'd say, what do you think about this? And mm. they'll give me... Um, They'll give me better ideas, of course, but it, it's so really did you just, I know. Did you just go to Nigeria and you started looking at all these different prints and then you started designing? 
started drawing? So did you do that? literally, that's what I did. So I, when I went back home on a trip, I went to the markets, and the markets are such inspiration. I'll they're bet. so they're buzzing with so much culture, so much, so many colors. And I picked out a few prints. I had a few designs in my mind, very simple cuts, and my tailors brought it to life. Uh, I just had a team of maybe two tailors at the time, and we just made a size, like small, medium, large, large. extra large. Uh -huh. That's all, and we brought it to America, started selling it out of my uh. trunk. Where, where can people get, get you now? Where can they get you? Shopbesida.com, S-H-O-P-B-E-S-I-D-A.com. So do you regret not sitting here in this chair between Nate and Tony, or are you happier doing <laughs> what you're doing? You know, I always say this, that our idea of what's great is nothing compared to God's best for us, Ooh. and I am living in God's God's dream for my life, right. so I do not regret Preach. it. But but guess Preach. what? I'm Sophia. here right now. Preach. This is Sophia. a moment. Sophia. <laughs> all Congrats. Sophia the sauce. <laughs> Sophia the Sophia sauce. The Dan sauce. of Cotier. Thank Sophia, you very much Sophia. for being here. That is a great print. Thank you. We'll be right back. Good job, Sophia. Well